welcome back to my channel. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I haven't filmed a makeup tutorial in a little bit, so I thought today I would film one for you guys. I just really wanted to play with makeup today and I really wanted to just do my makeup. So that is pretty much just today's video. I'm just gonna be playing around with makeup and we'll see what the outcome looks like. I mean, you guys will obviously already know what it looks like based on the thumbnail and the title. So the first palette I'm gonna use is the Tati Beauty palette, which is right over here. I'm actually gonna zoom you guys in really quick so that I can show you an up close view of my eye. And since we're doing a little bit of glitter and sparkle today, I wanna do my eyes first so I can wipe away any excess in case the glitter falls onto my eye. So let me zoom you guys in real quick. Okay, so now that you guys are all nice and zoomed in, you can see all of the <laughs> pores and texture on my features. The first thing we're gonna start off with is a nice transition color. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, just like a nice brown color, and I'm gonna use a fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna place this color in my crease. Just a really nice light, wash like that is perfect. Then I'm gonna grab a smaller, more pencil-like brush, and I'm going to dip into the shade Ritual right over here, this brown color, and I'm just going to plop that on the outer part of my crease. And for this look, I think I'm gonna try to do a more Asian style, so I'm going to stick it closer to my actual eye shape, and I'm not going to blow out the shape too much. So just putting this on the outer corner of but within my crease still. Then I'm just gonna go back in to Soothe right over here and back in with the fluffy brush and I'm just going to emphasize the crease a little bit more. nice and blended out right now and you can see that nothing is too harsh at all and I haven't really gone really much above my actual lid space I'm gonna try to keep it kind of tight and within my actual eye space just to do a more like Asian inspired look pretty much and I'm just going to darken the outer V just a tiny tiny bit and I'm not winging it upward or anything I'm really just sticking with my natural eye shape And I'm gonna go in with this champagne shade right over here, and I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid. And I think I'm just gonna use my fingers to do it actually. Like that. I'm just gonna lightly tap. And you can see that I have a little bit in my inner corner right over there, so I'm just going to use a makeup wipe. And I'm just going to I feel like when it comes to glitter, it's kind of hard to dust off, so I typically like to use a makeup wipe because that ensures that it actually goes away. And now I'm just going to go back in with the outer crease color and I'm just going to blend it in slightly a little bit more with the sparkle. Going back in with the crease. I'm now gonna go back in in the Tati Beauty palette and I'm gonna grab this black shade right over here and I'm using a flat shader brush. I'm using a flat shader brush because I really wanna get up all in, into my lash line. So I just kind of like look up and I want to press this black shadow into my lash line like that. And I kind of wiggle it to stamp the color in my lash line. And what this is gonna do is it's going to really darken up your lash line and it's gonna open up your eye. I have stamped a black line in my lash line and there's a pretty noticeable difference you can compare between this eye and this eye. When the eye is stamped with the black eyeshadow underneath the lash line, it really helps to give the eye some more definition. And now what I'm gonna do is just keep on using that black eyeshadow and with the same flat shader brush, I'm just gonna flick my brush upward slightly to create a tiny wing. And you're gonna be, wanna be very gentle with this. And so as you guys can see, I've created a tiny black wing from just from using eyeshadow and the flash shader brush. I feel like by using eyeshadow to create an eyeliner wing, it's a lot more natural and a lot more sultry. So I'm just gonna repeat this exact process onto my other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so the camera was not recording. 
because I forgot to press the record button. I just dotted foundation all over my face and I used the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau foundation and my absolute favorite Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. I just used a mix of both of these and now I'm just going to quickly blend it in. So now that I have my layer of foundation on, I'm just going to be going in with concealer. Going in with the Born This Way Multi Sculpt Concealer in the shade Vanilla. This is actually a little bit dark for me right now because, as I mentioned, I am really pale. Yeah, you can see this kind of like almost my skin color. And doing this. Okay. So for the nose highlight, I'm just going to leave that there and let it dry a little bit so that it can kind of act like nose highlight. And I'm just going to blend the rest of the concealer in. So now that I have finished going in with all of the brightening concealer, I'm going to be going in with the NARS Re Radiant Creamy Concealer in Cafe Con Leche. And I'm just going to go over some of my blemishes with this concealer. I do have some hyperpigmentation and remaining acne scars. For the ones where I have acne scars, I do a very, very light pouncing motion. I don't try to move my beauty blender as much because I really don't want to move the coverage around too much. So it's just a very light tapping motion just so that I can blend out the edges of the concealer so I can still maintain maximum coverage possible. And once everything looks blended, the next step is going to be powder. So I'm going to go in with my absolute favorite Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Just putting a little bit on the cap like so. I'm going in with the reverse side of my beauty sponge and I'm just going to press that into all the areas where I applied concealer. And since I am a very oily person, I do have to uh, set my makeup everywhere. Otherwise it will slip and slide and move around everywhere. I'm not baking for this step. I'm just kind of lightly setting everywhere. Um, I find that when I bake nowadays, sometimes it just looks a little bit too cakey. Then after that, I'm just going in with a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to dust off any excess of the translucent setting powder. Normally I don't dust off too much though because my skin is very oily, so it typically just like drinks up all of the powder. You can immediately see how much more matte my face is after I set it. And now that I've let the concealer sit on my nose for a little bit, it's time to actually blend it out. So I'm just going to make sure I blend it out in a straight line. And that's pretty much it. You can kind of see a little bit of a highlight from where we set our concealer for a little bit. So this kind of acts like a natural contour without actually putting any contour. And I like to do this step because when I'm doing sort of Asian style makeup, I don't really want to have lots of heavy contour because Asian makeup isn't really about having really chiseled cheeks. And I'm just going to set my nose now. And for my nose, I am going to be going in with this Egg Lips Blur Powder Packed. This is a nice and translucent powder and I like going in with this one because first of all, it's colorless. And then when I put it on my nose, it really helps to blur everything out because I do have pores on my nose. So I really like to make sure that you can't see the blackheads, you can't see the pores. So I do enjoy using this smoothing and blurring powder just over my nose area. So after you finish that step, the next thing we're gonna do is going to be bronzer. For bronzer, I'm just going to be going in with this Bobbi Brown bronzer. It's my absolute favorite. It has a really nice warm tone brown. I don't really like using bronzers that are too cool because it kind of looks a little bit muddy on me. This is in the shade Golden Light. I'm just going to use a big brush and I'm just going to very, very lightly go over my cheeks and my jaw. For this look, we don't want to put too much product and we don't want the face to look too, too chiseled. It's more about just slightly giving the face a little bit more color and bringing a little bit more dimension back into the face. And literally that's it. Just a very, very light wash of bronzer. And now is one of the most important parts, which is going to be blush. So today for blush, I'm going to be going in with two different shades. I'm going to be going in with Kitten Baby by Kylie Cosmetics and Luster by NARS, which are these two. These are both very apricot-like shades. So I'm going to be applying the matte one first just to kind of set the color. And the way I'm going to apply this is I'm going to be putting this on the apple of my cheek and I'm going to be going upward in a higher motion because this gives the illusion of more elevated cheekbones. 
and I feel like for a lot of expensive looks the makeup is really like about elevating and lifting so I really want my blush to go in an upward direction And also feel free to apply a really generous amount of blush because blush is the first thing that goes so don't be too shy about applying too little. So now that we have the matte blush mostly on the cheeks, I'm just going to be going in with the NARS Apricot Blush which is in the shade Luster and I'm just going to be going in with the exact same brush that I was using and I'm just going to go on top of where we put the matte blush color. I really like this NARS Luster shade because it does provide a good amount of luminosity and the way that we're applying this blush is that we're going upwards so it kind of covers where a highlight normally would be which is why I think that having a illuminating and a bit of a sparkly blush is going to really help to highlight that part of your cheek. This blush is seriously so beautiful. It has like little golden flecks in it. So it really helps to give a youthful and illuminated look. So now the blush is applied. You can see that my cheeks are definitely very, very flushed. And so this is pretty much all I'm gonna be doing for the base makeup for the most part. I'm gonna go in with a tiny little bit of contour on the nose, but not too much. So I'm gonna be going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. It looks like this. And I'm gonna be going in with the middle shade right over here, just tapping it very, very lightly. And I'm just gonna go extremely, extremely lightly down the sides of my nose. Like definitely nothing too heavy. And I want to keep this as natural as possible. And the next step we're gonna be doing is our brows. And so for brows in a lot of Asian looks, they don't have a very arched brow. And so I am not going to extend my brow too much. I'm going to try to keep it as straight as possible. Nothing too intense or crazy. As you can see, I didn't arch it too much. I kind of went as much as close as possible to just my natural brow shape. I want to try to keep it as straight as possible. And just like that, just like a very simple brow where I just like literally just fill it in. So I'm just going to do the same on the other side. And now the next step is going to be under eye. So for the under eye, I'm just going to go back in with the exact color that we use in transition, which is this shade Soothe right over here. And I'm just going to be lightly going underneath my eye. I don't want anything too, too intense for the lower lash line. Just a light wash of color is good. So I just have a nice wash of color. And then the next step we're going to be going into is just going to be curling our lashes and then we're gonna apply some falsies. So I just finished curling my lashes and I'm just gonna be going in with the Heroin Make Long and Curl Waterproof Mascara in black. And I'm just going to quickly go over my lashes because I really want my natural lashes to blend in with the falsies that we're going to apply. And now for lashes, I'm going to be going in with the style Vogue by a brand called Lash Chrissy. I've used these lashes before and they're so beautiful, very fluttery, very, very natural. And they're also a small business brand, so I thought I should support them and I think you guys should support them as well. They actually sent me these lashes and I really like them because they're wispy and they're not like plastic-like. And now the lash is on. So you can see it's literally just like a yours but better kind of lash. It's not really dramatic or anything. It's just a really nice fluttery lengthening kind of lash. And I just think it's so beautiful for every day. So I just finished putting on the lashes and by this point we are almost done. The last step is just going to be lips. And for lips today, I'm going to be going in with the 3CE Velvet Lip Tint in the shade Think Again. It's a really beautiful velvety finish, so it's not drying at all. And just to top it off, I'm going to be going in with this YSL lip stain. I believe this is in the shade 9. It's the Veloped Liquid Color Balm a light wash of this on top. And that is pretty much it for the makeup look. Just for the last and final step, I'm just going to be going in with a tiny bit of highlighter at the center of the nose, just to emphasize that. And just a tiny bit on the brow bones. And that is it. 
And as for the hair, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie my hair up and I'm going to make it into a bun because I feel like a lot of sophisticated Asians have their hair up in a bun. And then I'm just going to pull out some bits and we're just going to curl those bits. So I have my curling wand over here and while I am waiting for that to heat up, I think we should pop in some earrings I feel like no expensive Asian look is complete without some nice earrings. So these are from Love AJ Lavage, I believe. Expensive. Okay, now I'm just going to curl those pieces. So I'm just going to grab some tiny bits of hair and then I'm just going to wrap them around. Okay, I'm just going to style these. And this is pretty much the completed look. So I feel like this is my version of what an expensive, posh, rich Asian woman would look like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and let me know if you guys end up recreating this look and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!